Alright guys, we just got to Michigan. We're trying to find the hotel. And uh, it's looking pretty cool so far. I've never been in this city before. But uh, it's cold. It's real cold. Alright, so we found the hotel. And needless to say, this place is pretty nice. I'm impressed. Empty room. Not gonna go in there. Let's go over here. All right, so we just got out of two conferences. So pretty much what they were over the first one was I like try to take notes as best as I can on my phone. Was uh, technology and its learning curve in terms of like students being more comfortable communicating with teachers and um, like through a screen through a screen. So emails. Through emails, and this is affecting like the personal training aspect of exercise science. So, like, um, trainers aren't as effective in communicating with their clients one on one when they're in person rather than uh, like through email, and how we kind of can like get around that. And then another one was about lifestyle factors and like significant out or lifestyle factors and how they uh, significantly affect our medication consumption, which makes sense. There's a correlation. And what they have found interesting that I want to do some more research on myself is polyunsaturated fat, fatty acids and how it had an inverse effect on math, on um, <clears throat> the amount of medications you take in terms of uh, your diet. So definitely going to do some follow up on that. And another one which I was intrigued was is um, the decrease of pain that you experience after ex exercise. So that's basically like referring to the chemicals. Um, released in your brain to give you that happy feeling and how you can increase your mental uh, threshold so your pain threshold how far can you push yourself until you stop and how to increase that through like body weight exercises so they were running tests through that which I think like I was really intrigued about just because uh, I think that you could further your training if you increase your uh, threshold of pain so I also going to follow up research on that but so far, a lot of people, a lot of students, and uh, it's a really great experience. I'm gonna try and go get some tables, see what's going on. No, I didn't. <laughs> see? Hi, Ted. We're gonna have to slide it. Let's push. That's weird. Nice. Alright guys, so we just officially checked into the room because um, checking in happened until later, so the conference started first. I got an official name tag and everything. Yeah. But uh, about to go finish the second half of the conference. I'll update you guys on the details that we went over later. And yeah, let's get it. And then we got dinner tonight, which I'm excited for because food is good. I'm a little slap happy I've been up for too long. Trying to find a quiet spot. Oh, this will have to do. It's kind of funny. This conference is kind of like the Arnold Expo, but like 
the more research and education based side of it. Because it's just like going to both. It, I don't know. It's just, it's just it's funny to me. But, uh, so I actually talked to a really interesting guy. His first name is Justin. I can't remember his last name. But basically, he's the founder and owner of a fitness company called, I believe it's State of Fitness. Yeah, State of Fitness, it's in Michigan. Um, <clears throat> basically, like his whole uh, thing is small group training and how it's more affordable, and that's kind of like the new way of fitness. So I talked to him, and um, definitely gonna be in contact with him. I'll put the link to his website in the description. You guys should definitely go check him out. He had a lot of nice motivational things to say. Um, seems like a really intelligent guy. So that's someone I want to um, get to know a little bit better. Maybe uh, do something in the future with them. Then <clears throat> we had lunch, which was like build your own taco. But you know, I had to keep it high protein, so I just got mostly meat, a little bit of rice, some lettuce, and then see if I wrote any more notes down. So far, I mean, it's pretty fun. Checked into our rooms. Gonna go to maybe like two more conferences today. See how that goes. Hopefully, it's some good content, and um, I'll catch back with you guys when I finish the conference. I need some more coffee. Where's the coffee? Oh, that's the cup of coffee that I showed you. Like that I showed you of me pouring earlier. Best coffee I've had in a long time. Like it tasted good, and I and I just drink coffee black. But it was like, whew, wow. So I'm a little lost. Sponsor on. Alright, let's see what that is. Oh boy. This is not the conference. So many stairs. So I guess at this point I'm looking for the gym. Because after we eat dinner, we gotta do something. This place is huge. to me. Alright guys, back from dinner, I had uh, chicken fajitas, so it's pretty light. Um, <clears throat> it's about... 7.51, it's workout time. So I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I haven't even seen this gym yet. I couldn't find it, so I had to ask the front desk on the way in. But first things first, take some pre-workout. So, got today. All we're gonna do, brought some uh, BPN in focus. If my camera would focus. Nah, in focus. A little bit more. Great stuff. Highly recommend it. them as some drunk people on the elevator. Really nice, but we found the gym. Plaza Fitness. Oh, what's up? Plaza Fitness Center. Access key. Let's get it. 
shoulders, probably hit just some light arm work, um, some calves, and we'll hop on the cardio. Alright, not going to film a lot of this workout just because I don't have my videographer with me, so hit an angle is going to be kind of tough, especially with things on my arms where I like to be standing, but um, by far the nicest hotel gym that I've been to, like this place is nice. You got a like, sweet view of the pool, which I'm definitely getting into. But uh, yeah, I'll do the best I can with angles. Let's get into it. We're gonna start with uh, some alternating dumbbell curls. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna do a voiceover of this workout. We started out with alternating dumbbell curls. Did three sets of around 12. <clears throat> Keep these mostly lightweight, really focusing on the contraction. It's not gonna be a real heavy workout. After that, we supersetted with tricep extensions. Again, three sets of about 15. Did the best I could with angles in this. Sorry about um, kind of limited view. After that, we did easy bar cable curls. Again, three sets of 12 to 15. Trying to switch up the angle for you guys. After that, this one was a really bad angle. <laughs> um, we did one arm dumbbell tricep extensions. Then the final bicep exercise we did were concentrated curls. One arm resting the elbow on the knee. Did three sets of 15 with these. And then after that we hit some cardio and that was it for the day. Alright guys, I just finished up uh, the workout. Just did some steady state cardio on the bike. Now, I have a little protein shake, pre-packed um, some protein powder, and I threw a little bit of uh, PB2 in there too. Key ingredient for the, for the flavor of the protein shake and the texture. So I'm gonna throw that in here. Like so. I'm gonna drink that and then hit the pool. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, conference. Day number two. It's gonna be a bit of a shorter day from yesterday. Um, gonna go listen to a few people speak, have brunch, and then get out of here. So as far as I know, that's a, that's a four floor plan. And uh, ice check, ice check. Where are you at? Need the ice. All right, got the ice. Off for the day. A little bit more casual, but still keeping it clean. Let's get it. And therefore you started with a lower blood. Again, not a huge problem unless you end up landing. <laughs> Just finished up with the conference, so um, basically just listened to like I think I went to like two other conferences. Then we had a brunch and a keynote speaker that gave a lot of great stuff, and I'm definitely going to start applying that into the vlogs and um, vital athletics as a whole. Great experience. Editing this video is going to be a beast, but uh, subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay motivated.